big changes are coming to Disneyland and Paris as they say goodbye to their old free FastPass system. Welcome to Premier Access, coming this summer to Disneyland Paris. Some may call it paid FastPass but truth is it has little to do with the features of the original free FastPass system, which will not be returning. Premier Access starts at €8 Euros a pop, minimum, depending on when you visit, direct access to your favorite attraction and possibly show at the next available slot, which is expected to be much sooner than the former Fast Pass system, for one guest once. It'll be available in the app once you have entered the parks, and also at physical locations if you don't have a smartphone. Simple as. But what about a free service to access the attraction without waiting two hours, you ask? Well, your friend standby pass is still around. This free service gets activated when the attraction gets busy, above a certain level of occupancy or wait time, and the only option for guests when that happens is to get a standby pass. Riders are allocated the next available time allowing, forcing, them to return to the queue later with a wait time more under control so not like a fast pass, but also less wait than regular standby. It's the diplomatic pass. While there is no option to just queue when standby pass is activated, when it is not activated, often at the start and end of day or on quiet days the queue reverts to good old standby. The complimentary standby pass which debuted on the Disneyland Paris app last October has also returned. Standby pass allows guests to spend part of their wait time for select attractions outside of the physical queue line, although it does not provide immediate access to an attraction. This service can be activated during certain periods of the day, subject to availability and dependent on day-to-day -day needs in the parks. When activated, guests can use the Disneyland Paris app to book a time slot to enter the physical queue line of an attraction and return to stand in the queue at that time. Additionally, guests can choose to purchase Disney Premier Access on the Disneyland Paris app when it launches this summer. This optional digital service allows guests to enjoy the ability to skip the regular queue line for some of our most beloved attractions, including a mix of thrill rides, Disney classics and experiences for the whole family. From anywhere inside the parks, Guests can use the app to book an assigned time slot for select attractions, with prices at launch from €8.15 per person per ride depending on the attraction and day of use. Guests without a smartphone can also purchase Disney Premier Access at select locations in the parks. By choosing Disney Premier Access, guests have the option for more flexibility in planning their day. So, do you think we will see the same paid FastPass option coming soon to Walt Disney World and Disneyland? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more theme park news.